If your Chevy is shifting rough, slipping gears, or just not driving like it used to, the problem might lie with the Transmission Control Module, or TCM. The good news is that you don't always need a mechanic or dealership to fix it. In today's video, we'll walk through six proven-to-work DIY methods to reset the TCM on Chevy vehicles, whether you're working with an older model or something newer. And I can guarantee you that one of these will work. Let's get right into it. Method 1. Pedal. Reset. Method. This is one of the easiest ways to reset your TCM without any tools. Start by inserting your key into the ignition or press start button and turning it to the on position. This means the dashboard lights come on, but the engine stays off. Next, press the gas pedal all the way to the floor and hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. While still holding the pedal down, turn the key to the off position. Release the gas pedal, then wait a few minutes. This process sends a signal through the, the pedal position sensor and can help reset the TCM's adaptive memory. Once done, start the engine and go for a short drive so the system can start relearning your driving behavior. Method 2. Battery Disconnect Reset For this method, turn off the car and open the hood. First, disconnect the negative battery terminal, then the positive. With both terminals off, press and hold the brake pedal for about 10 to 15 seconds to help discharge any remaining power from the system. Now, wait at least 15 to 30 minutes. After the wait, reconnect the positive terminal first, then the negative. This forces the TCM and other modules to reboot and often clears any stored adaptive data that may be causing shifting issues. All right, so method three is the ignition key cycle reset. This method is another simple way to reset the TCM without any tools. With the vehicle in park and your foot off the brake, just turn the key to the on position and hold it there for about 10 seconds. Then turn it off and wait 30 seconds. You'll want to repeat this cycle two to three times. This power cycling process allows the TCM to reset and clear minor faults, especially on vehicles that don't rely heavily on scanner-based procedures. Moving on to method four which is the OBD2 scanner reset. If you have an OBD2 scanner, go ahead and plug it into the diagnostic port under the dashboard. Turn the key to the on position, but don't start the car. Use the scanner to navigate to the transmission control section. If your tool supports it, look for an option that says reset transmission adaptive values or something similar. Select that option and follow any prompts. Now, if your scanner doesn't have that function, you can still clear the transmission-related error codes manually, which can trigger a soft reset. After that, take the vehicle for a drive so the TCM can begin relearning your shift patterns. Method 5 is the Professional GM Scan Tool Reset. If you have access to a dealership-level scan tool, like the Tech 2 or GDS2 interface, you can perform the factory-recommended reset. Just plug in the tool select the transmission control module, and run the function called Transmission Adaptive Values Learn. This will officially clear all adaptive shift data and walk you through a step-by-step -step drive cycle. Now, while this method is definitely more advanced and usually done at a dealership, many experienced DIYers use it at home with the right equipment. Post-reset driving relearn is really important. No matter which reset method you use, the transmission will need to relearn its behavior. To do this, just take your Chevy for a steady drive at around 40 to 60 miles per hour for 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure to include a few smooth accelerations and gentle stops. Try to avoid aggressive driving. This helps the TCM rebuild a fresh set of adaptive data based on your current driving style and mechanical condition. For older Chevy models, this relearn drive is often the only way to fully calibrate the transmission after a reset. And that's it. Six different ways to reset your Chevy's transmission control module without needing to visit a dealership. If one method doesn't work for you, just try another. Each one can help bring your transmission back to smooth, reliable shifting. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, be sure to like the video. Subscribe for more DIY car content and let us know in the comments which method worked best for your vehicle.